Why is the Partek Philippe Nautilus the hardest luxury watch to get right now? For fans of luxury watches, there are a few timepieces that stand out among the others. Sporting iconic designs, there are a handful of timepieces that are so legendary they can be spotted from a mile away. Once such watch is none other than the Partek Philippe Nautilus watch. However, merely having the will and the funds to want one doesn't necessarily guarantee that you'll get one. In fact, the Partek Nautilus is one of the hardest high-end watches to find right now. Let's find out why. The Nautilus is one of the most famous luxury sports watches ever created. Conceived by famed designer Gerald Genter and launched in 1976, the Nautilus was unlike any other watch Partek Philippe had ever created. A sports watch through and through, the Nautilus stood out among elegant Partek dress watches with its steel construction, and robust design that incorporates a porthole style case, a dial with horizontal grooves, and an integrated bracelet. Even more shocking for the times was its hefty price tag, considering it was made from steel rather than precious gold or platinum. The Nautilus was just the watch for the jet set of the era who spent their time cruising on luxury yachts, soaking up the sun at exotic beaches, or frolicking in the snow at exclusive ski resorts. The ultimate high-end sports watch to flaunt while partaking in leisurely activities. Fast forward to today, and the Nautilus has remained as the top status watch to own. While the design codes of the watch have remained almost identical to the inaugural 1976 model, Partek Philippe has offered plenty of different versions of the Nautilus over the last four decades. Along with steel, there are also gold, diamond, and platinum Nautilus watches. Plus, although the original Nautilus only featured time and date functionality, today there are more complicated Nautilus watches with functions such as chronograph, annual calendar, perpetual calendar, moon phase, and so on. Partek Philippe has relatively low production numbers. In 2012, during a Baselworld interview, Partek Philippe president Thierry Stern said his company produces around 50,000 watches a year. For context, it's estimated many watch manufacturers don't officially divulge their production numbers that Rolex produces closer to 1 million watches a year. So comparatively, Partek Philippe has relatively low production numbers. Even if Partek has slightly increased the production numbers today, only a small portion would be dedicated to Nautilus models, and an even smaller percentage to stainless steel Nautilus watches. So it's safe to say that in today's market, the demand for the Nautilus, particularly the ultra-popular stainless steel Nautilus 5711 outpaces the supply of the Partek Philippe Nautilus is a favorite among celebrities. From superstar musicians to film stars to business moguls to professional athletes, celebrities are in love with Partek Philippe Nautilus watches. Look closely at the wrists of Brad Pitt, Ellen DeGeneres, Ed Sheeran, Victoria Beckham, and Conor McGregor and you'll often see a Nautilus there. And of course, this fuels the appetite for the Nautilus even further among the general public. Whether it's iced out versions or additions with complications or understated steel models with just the time and date, it's clear that the Nautilus enjoys its own celebrity status. Lucky for you, if you're looking for a hard-to-find Partek Philippe Nautilus, then Time 4 Diamonds has an impressive selection to choose from. Flood them with diamonds or leave them as is, a Partek Nautilus is one top timepiece to own. If you're interested in finding out more about any of the watches we've taken a look at in this video, then visit our website, timefordiamonds.com. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media to discover more about the world of luxury watches.